Hey, welcome everybody. Pete Caliendo here from Baseball Outside the Box. I want to thank everybody that's home, and that is pretty much everybody around the world. Um, hopefully we have a captive audience. Wishing you the best. Stay safe. Uh, we are excited. We're also going to hit live. Um, we are live on Facebook. Pete Caliendo here, Baseball Outside the Box for all my Facebook friends. We are live on with Jack Voigt. I will tell you about Jack in a second. Please don't forget, try to share the show. If you got any questions on Facebook Live, type the questions. I'll be glad to ask Jack those questions. We're going to have another great talk today as we do. We usually have one or two of these a day. Um, this is for coaches, players, and parents all around the world. Please share the show. Check us out on uh, Baseball Outside the Box podcast also at Baseball Out. We're ready to rock and roll. we got a great person. When you talk about, and we've talked about uh, this on the show with many people, we talk about discipline, attention to detail, creating great habits. There isn't a better person in the world that's going to join the show right now, and he is former Major League player with the Baltimore Orioles. He's been with other clubs. He's a coach, a manager. He's been a manager. He's been a hitting coach, base running, outfield coach. He's been with six or seven organizations, he's been in pro ball a long time, played in Mexico in ninth round draft choice uh, with the Baltimore Orioles. What a great individual. I'm just going to tell you straight out, I met him very first time when I was with the Schomburg Flyers. Schomburg had signed him as a player. And let me tell you, I learned so much from him in a very short period of time. You're going to know why in a second. So let me welcome my good friend, Jack Voigt from Jack Voigt Baseball. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, Pete. How are you? Hey, good to see you, man. How's uh, everything up there in Chicago? Everything's great. You know, we, we, we always text and go back on Messenger. We haven't really seen each other since the Schomburg days. And, you know, it's great to see you because now I know it's virtual, but it's better than, than nothing. Well, I, I think back then I probably had a little more hair, too. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're still kicking and we're still going and we're still, uh, you know, doing the stuff in the game that we both love. Yeah, and you've been in the game a long time, and you've been at the highest level as a player, even as a coach and hitting coach, as I mentioned, all the background. And there's a lot more background. We're going to put Jack's uh, uh, bio on the show notes. We'll have his uh, Twitter, Jay Voigt Baseball. I'll have all that on there. Check it out. He's got some great stuff on Twitter. Um, you know, I want to go back in a little bit because I want to start off with this. As I mentioned at the beginning, you know, I learned a lot from you when it comes to discipline. Uh, attention to detail, making sure everything's done correctly every day. I want you to talk a little bit about how important it is for coaches to teach that to the players um, on a daily basis. Well, I think, um, first of all, you know, to, to develop a relationship with your players, you have to show them that you want to develop a, a, a relationship with them. And the way you do that is by showing that you care. Uh, you need to, you know, develop that that confidence within them, that you have confidence for them also. Uh, the best coaches I played for, uh, and I don't want to mention names because I'd probably forget a few because I've had some good ones, but, um, you know, they were, they were in it for me. Um, you know, they were in it. Yes, you know, they had their professional goals to do things, but um, a lot of times I've found that uh, if you have your goals, but you match your goals by saying, I want to make my players as best as they can be, that's going to be, you know, truthful. It's going to be straightforward, and that's going to show. Um, being organized, uh, even just doing a practice, um, knowing that uh, you, you've got a certain amount of time that you're going to stretch, and then you're going to throw, and then we're going to uh, go into our hitting, or we're going to go into our defensive group, or our base running, you know, whatever your skill work is for that day. Uh, and have that little uh, meeting with the kids uh, or your players, you know, five, ten minutes, explaining what the day is going to be, explaining what your goals are for them, explaining your expectations for them uh, during that practice time and that uh, that you you know you just want 100 percent mental and physical effort during that time pay attention and and that's your time to get your work done you know that there's 24 hours in the day but you usually don't have that much time to work in your practices so uh, a lot of little league practices or even high school sometimes they're only limited to maybe two hours two and a half hours you've got multiple teams that need to use fields and things like that you really got to maximize that time. So I think that is the first thing you need to do as far as being disciplined and organized. Set it up ahead of time, go through it multiple times, and understand that uh, you want it to flow smooth. That shows that you know what you're doing. Hey, Jack, when you were, you were playing with Schomburg, I remember, man, uh, you, you had a routine from the minute you got to the stadium 
to everything from in the clubhouse, dressing, how your clothes were set up. And I know you learned this routine from a Hall of Famer. Um, I want to talk about a little bit about that routine and, and, and why it's so critical also to teach players these things. Well, yeah, I mean, that was – I had the honor and the privilege to be able to play – professionally with a lot of good players and, and a number of Hall of Famers. And, um, you know, the first organization I was drafted and signed by was the Baltimore Orioles. Um, you know, coming out of LSU, of course, was Skip Bertman when he was there. He developed a lot of that instinct and, and those things in me um, as far as how, how you went about the game, not just how to do things, but uh, why you did them. And when I went into the Baltimore system back then, it was the old Oriole way. It was hard work. It was repetitions. It was respecting the game, respecting your teammates. And, um, and those were the good things. So for me, um, Cal Ripken uh, Jr. was a huge uh, person for me to uh, not only A, look up to, but as a teammate, be able to, um, you know, bounce things off of. Um, you know, I could ask him any kind of question. I could, uh, you know, obviously not in the middle of a game, but um, uh, when he had time, he was more than happy to share that information with me. And um, and then we just went from there. Are you still there, Pete? I don't know if we've lost the feed or... <laughs> 